Good day everyone and welcome to the Human Development Zone brought to you by the Education Support Forum. My name is Edzai Bo, and we will be talking about the APRM's first International Youth Symposium. APRM stands for African Peer Review Mechanism. This is a way that has been devised to try and foster performance and accountability across Africa whereby countries uh, review their peers in order to measure progress towards Agenda 2063 and uh, the SDGs. So there has been a call, I mean, it has been coming, uh, that the youth have to be at the center, the youth have to be at the table where critical African decisions are made. And it seems that the leaders are now heeding the call uh, and the multilateral institutions like your African Union and all its organs like NEPAD, APRIM, even AFDB and the others are taking heed of the need to have youth participate in shaping the future of Africa. So it is, uh, it is quite interesting that uh, what on the heels of the uh, APRM Youth uh, Symposium that was held in, uh, in Cape Town at UCT. Now we have the inaugural International Youth Symposium where they are bringing in youths from all over Africa and they are going to be discussing how youth can actually play an important role, a pivotal role uh, in enforcing good governance in Africa because Without good governance, there cannot be any development. We cannot achieve Agenda 2063. Without good governance, we cannot achieve the SDGs. So we have to make sure that the youth, who happen to be the majority of people on the continent of Africa, have a say and participate fully in the decision-making process because they are the ones who are going to be the leaders in 2063. They are the ones who are going to be around in 2063 to see the fruition of these efforts. So I commend the African Union and its, uh, its, its organs in that they're now being proactive in coming up with, uh, uh, with programs for youth to be heard. So with this APRM International Youth Symposium, I mean, it's going to be held uh, on the 1st of July to the 2nd of July in Jamena, that is in Chad. So we have to uh, see what comes out of there. I mean, the discussions that are going to be held around youth unemployment, 4IR, Fourth Industrial Revolution, agriculture, policy, governance, how the APRM works, how it can better serve the people of Africa. So I'm looking forward to that. And uh, I hope you'll be following as well in, uh, uh, in, on social media, in the blogs as the education support forum will be there in chat and we'll also be writing lots of um, articles and uh, having lots of interviews and you'll see them on tedsf.org that is t-e-d-s-f.org we'll be broadcasting we'll be um, uh, streaming live we'll be writing blogs we'll be writing opinion pieces and stuff like that just to keep the youth of Africa informed about what this APRM First International Youth Symposium is all about. So start, start tweeting about it, start talking about it. What do you understand is the role of APRM and how does it affect the governance in your country uh, and the continent as a whole and how can you as an individual uh, contribute? So um, let not this be a one-sided conversation. Please do feel free to comment uh, below and uh, make sure that we spark this uh, and ignite this passion for our continent of Africa. Let us all be accountable. Let us support the APRM in its effort to measure progress. Uh, and uh, the good thing is that this is a homegrown initiative um, that seeks to ensure that we deliver on our promises as governments, as, uh, as citizens. So thank you very much. Um, don't forget, tune in into your social media, follow APRM on, uh, 
on on social media and uh, yeah just keep it locked because we will be bringing a lot of stuff from the first of july and the second of july and even afterwards as well so thank you very much